Back in March 2020, I had visited the Hyundai India plant located at Sri Perambudur outside Chennai to see how Hyundai Motor put together the new second generation Creta. Of course, the Creta was brand new then. It's been a year since uh, we visited the plant. Uh, and of course, things went to seed soon after that thanks to the pandemic. In this short video, I'll try and show you the processes that go into the construction of a car in India. Thank you for watching this video in advance and do like this video and do subscribe for more such videos on this channel. The manufacturing process for cars begins with stamping. This is when plates of steel are stamped into shape by massive metal dies bringing as much as 20 tons of pressure on each plate. This is not just to provide the shape required but also required for safety reasons. These plates are then brought out of the machine and then stored until they are required. Because changing dies between different models of cars takes time, at one time a die could produce as many as 1000 panels at a go even though a vehicle could only be manufactured several days later. The stamp panels are then stored in a massive warehouse until they are required to go to the body shop where they are spot welded by hundreds of robots. Robots offer the chance for spot welding to be far more accurate than human hands. The Hyundai plant at Sri Perambudur was one of the first plants to employ a very high level of robotization. But this is now standard across the board in most large manufacturing facilities where panels are stamped. Several manufacturers do not stamp all their panels in India. Many panels are still imported because the volumes of those cars are far lower. The door panels are welded separately as you can see in the picture above but they are attached to the car at the end of the body welding process. Now every once in a while Hyundai pulls a car off the line to inspect it thoroughly. Here they use lasers to inspect the distance between panels, ultrasonic machines to determine the strength of the welds as well as cameras to see if the welds are all in the right spot. This is done for quality control and safety reasons and is an extremely thorough check. However, all the other body shells are then sent by overhead conveyor belt to the paint shop. This is actually one part of most car factories that visitors are not allowed to see because of the fact that the painting process requires extreme cleanliness and is also quite dangerous because of hazardous chemicals. One of the more unique things about the Hyundai factory at Chennai is that it also has an engine plant. We were taken there as well and over here you can see the 1.5 litre diesel engines coming off the line. Uh, Hyundai makes these engines as well as several of the petrol engines and the turbo engines that you see on their cars today. These 1.5 litre diesel engines are not just manufactured for Hyundai cars in Chennai but also sent to the Kia factory in Andhra Pradesh. After the engines are manufactured, they, like just like the body shells, are also inspected. A very unique camera rig takes over 200 photographs of the engine and compares them to its database back in the computer and if there are any faults found, the engine is pulled off the line. After painting, the cars arrive at the final assembly line where one of the very first things that happens to them is they have their doors removed. This is because it makes it easier for the workers to ingress and egress the car and over here as you can see they are fitting the roof lining on the car. Depending on the manufacturer and depending on the model, they could be as few as 20 and as many as 100 different workstations on the final assembly line, where workers fit everything from the seats 
to the engine, to the tyres and what not. It is quite a wonder to watch these highly trained and skilled workers fit and finish every single vehicle. They take a real pride in what they do out of the Hyundai factory at Nain Chennai. The entire process is also highly automated. So the right parts come just in time for the right car. Like over here, you see tyres being fitted to the car. The tyres arrive one by one, but the computer already knows which car is going to be in the line at which time. Like this venue over here gets tyres specifically for it, because the car following it is a Creta, which will get tyres for that car. It's remarkable how the system works. Over here you can see the logo and the badge, this one for a venue, being added to the car. After the cars roll off the final assembly line, they are taken to the inspection line where workmen inspect the cars for any dings and dangs they might have suffered during the manufacturing process. They also thoroughly check the paint job for any unwanted swirls or little sticky spots. This check is very thorough and the cars go through what is called a light tunnel so that the workers can see the car to perfection. They even open and close the door several times to see how well the doors are. It's only then, once a car passes inspection, that it is ready to go to the stockyard and be dispatched for delivery to the customer.